When wanted criminals realize they've been discovered, a range of complex psychological reactions emerge. Step out of the car! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back now! I can't! No! In today's video, we'll explore cases of how fugitives confront the unavoidable truth. Let's begin with Wad, 34 years old, who believes she can touch the police without facing any consequences. You were walking over here. He told you. He asked me to get over there. So don't, why are you touching me? On May 13th, 2022, an officer on patrol noticed a vehicle ignoring a stop sign activated by a school bus. When the officer approached the vehicle, the driver immediately informed them of an outstanding warrant for her arrest. Though she initially complied with the officer's instructions, it soon became apparent that the situation was on the verge of escalating. What's your question? Do it gotta be three guys around for a misdemeanor for hey, one woman? What is your problem? I'm the person that's in the f car! Don't touch me! You need her? Hey. It's the same thing. You got y'all need three guys for one female? This shit making me uncomfortable now. Where we know I got a misdemeanor. Get over here. You were walking over here. He told you. He asked me to get over there. So don't, why are you touching me? You're not don't touch me. Because why did he touch me though? You have to touch me. I heard him. I heard what the f he said. Instead of resolving the situation peacefully, Watt escalated her situation further by laying hands on the police officer. Now you punched me in the face. I didn't punch on your face nothing. Yeah, you did. No, the f I didn't punch him in his face. Then yeah. nobody, he grabbed me for what? Because you weren't doing what the I was trying to grab my I'm mad I punch him. I put my finger in your face. Don't right. No, because he wasn't. All three y'all need to come for a around police. And I don't like this. Y'all yeah, didn't give me a trap. I didn't punch him in his face. Go and jump him. I'm waiting on my guy to get here. You what? I'm waiting on him to get here so he could get my car. No, your car's getting towed. Have a seat. Now I punch him in his face. Make sure y'all got the video of me punching him in his face, too. Somebody coming to get my car, so. No, it's getting towed. The officer advised the woman that if she had stayed calm, the situation could have been resolved peacefully. However, she was not ready to listen, her agitation growing as the encounter continued. Her unwillingness to heed the officer's advice turned a manageable encounter into a volatile confrontation. Man, this would've been over and done with. I didn't punch him in his face. Maybe. I did not punch him in his face. I asked him to let me go. I did, just like this. Ma'am, it's all on camera. Okay, it could be on camera and there's not gonna be no balled up fist. You hit him. This would've been simple and over and done he, with. What did he grab me for? He didn't grab, I was coming to you. All I need to do was get my I don't. He's sitting up here coming to me, grabbing me on me for what? For a misdemeanor? Soon as I came up, he was aggressive. What are you walking up to the car for? What do you mean? What is this my car? This is me. All this, one officer, it takes. He's getting trained. He's getting retrained. Okay, okay, so, well, now is he getting trained? Listen. He getting trained, and this how a trainer officer act? That's how he act? Look how you're acting. Sitting up here, grandma, you come at me aggressive because I'm walking up on my car. I told you to stop. Clearly not. Did you grab me one time? Hell, fuck, no, you did not grab me one time. What the f did he grab me for? I'll say what the f they have to say. That's why people act like this towards y'all. Ain't no f choice. Period. Kill my baby daddy already. I don't trust y'all, period. And this is exactly what why. Was I not decent with you? I swear you wasn't, that's what I'm saying. But dude, but dude just came to me and I lift like what do you mean? I'm like I'm the person that's walking up to the third car. This is my car. We gotta, we're gonna go inside, okay? Just gotta lock it, because I think my pistol. Oh. Uh, Actually, you know what? Go ahead and work real quick. I... I'll be right in there. I gotta get her to print her tickets. For... Despite the suspect's erratic behavior throughout the process, the police still try to de-escalate the situation. Here's what the officer said to her about the situation. Okay, so... The, the other officer is gonna, he's charged you with the aggravated battery to a police officer because you punched him. I don't wanna talk to you, I'm gonna open this up, okay? So, from from when we were ever gonna scuffle around, okay? I'm not, and my knee's jacked up too, it's great. I'm not going that route, okay? 
he has to get it approved. For me, you're going to get just two tickets. You're going to get for the stop arm violation and then just for the possession or transportation of cannabis. That's it for me. What happened to me, so, Go ahead. Oh, I'm here to answer your question. With some cannabis. And yeah. It's barely, it like, it's literally, don't get the bag. Listen. First of all, it's like, it's barely crumbs in that bag, y'all. No, I wasn't smoking in the car. None of that y'all on, on for what? And then. The, the dude tell him that he could have been came up walking up with me and then was come up and tell him that he was on one shit from the jump. So, this is how it is. You want to write me some ticket for some, for some cannabis in the in there? Are you serious? It's that bad. You got to bring up, it, it, you got to get some, you got to uh, look fruit crumbs, crumbles of fucking cannabis for real? For real? Damn, I'm not looking. I'm for not, real? Cannabis is legal, however, you can't transport that way. Ever. First of all, it ain't, it ain't even getting transferred. And then first of all, it was in the back seat. It was not even mad to begin with anyway. I'm not the one who located it. It's cool. I know. Okay. I know. It's cool. We have to get some. I have to do some of my paperwork. Okay. Um, so what they supposed, what's they supposed to be charging me for with this aggravated? Like, what's the money? It has to get approved. Once yet, the state's attorney has to approve it because it's a felony. Okay. I say no. I don't know. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you. We have to go run your criminal history. Do you have a criminal history at all? We have to answer it because I have to go run it anyway. Yeah. You do? Petty stuff or like retail yeah, it's stuff? Petty stuff. I ain't never had no family, and that's why I'm saying he trying to dig up for me a family. He knew he was wrong anyway. First of all, he didn't even know it was my fucking car that you was pulled over. As soon as I walked up, he was on. Let me go find out what's going and on. And you sitting up here talking to me. You talking to me. Why is he right here in my face? Him and some other, some, some whole other people. Why are you even grabbing on to me like I'm a Dude, All right. why well, are you grabbing me like I'm a dude? Potential, potential. I really want to call somebody. Okay, I'll let you call people here in the middle. The female's prior warrant and subsequent charges of aggravated battery upon a peace officer and resisting arrest highlight the serious legal implications of her actions. These charges not only reflect the serious legal consequences she now faces, but also signify a concerning pattern of behavior that poses a threat to public safety and law enforcement officers. It is imperative to recognize the significance of these charges and the need for accountability in ensuring the safety and integrity of our communities. In the next case involving this woman, who attempted to flee from the police after committing a theft, on November 25th, 2023, law enforcement in Florida responded to a call regarding theft at a beauty supply store. The reported incident involved a woman who allegedly stole $2,000 worth of wigs. The police quickly arrived at the scene, met with the store manager, and investigated the relevant information regarding the incident. All right, so just walk me through what, what happened. Okay. Uh, it had to be like about 8.45, 8 50 okay. early. Because yeah. we open at 8.30, even though our signs say 9. Because they know that we're open, everybody else don't gotcha. open to 9.30 or 10. Gotcha, yeah. So when she came in, I spoke. Mm -hmm. Hey, sweetheart, she beeline right the wigs. Mm -hmm. I was uh, talking to one of my employees, getting her ready to mm -hmm. put up. That's overstock. Okay. Then when I got up the stairs, I was starting to... um open up those wigs, those uh, clippers, because they're sale clippers. She was coming out the door. That's And I ran out and I was like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And the way she pushed the door open and the lady that was coming in jumped out of the way. Did you see anything in her hand at that point? And, and, no, I didn't. All I see, she was by the time, by the time I got out to her, she was telling him, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kind of where my police cars? No, they were right here. Oh, right in front? Right in front. All right. Was the camera showed me he did just what they're doing, just like that, and I had gotten behind them. Okay. Yeah. But they were dumb enough to back out, which could have been deadly, yeah, like yeah. the toe tagging thing, and mm -hmm. they almost wrecked, spinning out. Jesus. But I, like I said, she knew that that's yeah. our human. Everybody, she beeline straight, and straight that's what the, that's what the owner was saying. The okay. uh, um, you know, the, that's when she came in. I've been here ten years. Yeah. You know, they. I'm Auntie yeah. Miss G. Rec you know, recognizable. Well, you said the, the male was driving the car. He was driving. Did you see his face? He was all? a bright skinned fella. He had goals in his mouth. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you guys wanting to cooperate with prosecution? Oh, that yeah. He's okay. Definitely. That's, we we look at about two grand. Christmas, I'm definitely prosecuted. Yeah. Here. With investigative work, the authorities successfully traced the suspect's whereabouts using the license plate information. Their efforts led them to the residents linked to the suspect, marking a crucial breakthrough in the case. Kids father, his cousin. Kids father, who's his cousin? Yeah. Who's his cousin? Is that a male or female? A female. Female? What's her name? Yeah. Sir? Yes. Okay. Is she, where is she right now? 
in there. I just closed the door for the dog. Okay. Can you have her come out as well? Hey, hey. Come get your dog. Come get your dog. Coco. Get Coco. I'm sorry. In the house. Come on. Have a seat right there for me on the ground. Sir? Have a seat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get you. Have a seat. Okay, I'm, I'm Keep your I'm hands coming. out of your pockets for me. My hands ain't no pregnant. Okay. I'm trying to get him. I'm sorry. Right, no, that's fine. I know that's a whole other issue. Right? Okay. Here. Hey, I'm gonna pat you down real quick. Just make sure you don't have anything to turn around for. Me. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna read you something real quick. Okay. okay. You have the right to remain silent. Well, and, well, hold on. Hold. Before I tell you this, I'm gonna tell you that we have listen, just just listen. It's not me though. Okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna ask you something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm asking you. Know, let's get, let's get this dog. You know, what, what I, I feel do, bad because I don't, so I know he gets. I'm asking you know, what, he, he asked asked you know, what I do though, like. Okay. Where did you come from in this car a little earlier? I, I was in the car earlier. Listen, would you like me to show you some pictures? Yeah, but it, was, it wasn't me though. It wasn't you. Who was? No, it, who it wasn't me. We, my, my, my cousin, she was just here, but she used car earlier, but she left. Where we're going? Yeah. Um, yeah. If I don't have um, this, my hair. This is why we're right here. Okay. Who, who else? Who? What's her name? Because it's Jessica. She was to the half store. Got some. Um, she was going to go for two weeks and then. Mm -hmm. But when she came back here, she got she had a silver car. She got her car. She left. Okay, let's come over here. We're gonna come out. I'm actually telling you for that. Yeah, I, I, I was, I didn't go in the hassle at all. At all, people bank. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even from here. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not in the hassle at all, sir. At all. Like, you like, 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 video, 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 video. It was not me. You able to swing by there, knowing I was close. It was not me, sir, at all. Like, I, 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 like my cousin was here earlier, but her name was Jessica. But that was not. It was okay. not me. What's your name? My name, my name is Omoni. Uh, where do you live? I'm Gaza. Cheryl, I, 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 she said she too. She can't help my mom. Why she leave so fast? She, she just said that. Too. Who was the male who's driving her? Um, he's going. It was, it was her boyfriend. He's going too. But they just happen to come grab this car. No, no she said not here last night. She, she used this car right here and she left. Okay. What's what's her name? Her name is Jessica. Jessica. Um, she's I'm, I, she's staying out here with, with my cousin. I'm, I'm I'm not from here. I don't stay out here. Oh, so she stays here? No, she stays down here. Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. Why'd you say something about a silver car then? Um, no, she has a bat mazel. She has a bat mazel. Jessica has a bat I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm sorry, but okay. I'm nervous. She, she, she has a bat mazel. She's got a 2022 one, I would say. Um, she Is that has, a car or SUV? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a regular car. So what's this silver car you said they sped off in when? Oh, um, no. I, 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 I was nervous earlier when you talked to me. I'm, I'm just going to be with y'all. I was nervous. She's got a bat car. Like, like a 2021, 2023 car. Yeah. Um, but but I, I want to know what the silver car no, is. I, 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 I'm, just I'm just nervous. Like, when you said silver car, I saw it, sir. I'm going to talk to you, but I'm just letting you know, like, I'm not from here, sir. Like, um, I, I just got down here. My cousin it's tough talk. During the encounter with the police, she appeared cooperative and focused on blaming others to prove that she was not involved in the incident. However, she was unaware that all of her actions were being observed by the police. Is there a male here now? No, it's just, it's just, it's just me. It's just me. Um, um, her, her kids. So there's no 20, 30 something year old no, men in the house right no, now? No, sorry. Everybody, they, just when her brother put up here, I'm not from you, so you think she's having this. That day she got a call. What's the story? What's the story? It came back. Okay. We came back right. there, got a fight. Give, give, give me one yeah. second. So, who was, who was here earlier? I've been here all day. I, I'm saying, but who's driving your car? It shouldn't have moved since earlier. Well, it's, I was it, was, it was moving. From the, from the hair supply store. Clear as day on video. Light skin, light skin male with with grill driving. Well, you see my hair. It, it was oh. me, like it was oh, okay. so, okay. what I'm saying. But because I've look, been kind of look like kind of look like her. But, oh yeah, I honestly I've been asleep. Is there I, any other males here right now? No. And then I have my kids and my niece and me. How old are your kids? Uh, 17, 15. 14. You want to see them? Because we're we're talking about your cousin Jessica. Where does she stay at? That is not my blood cousin. It's just somebody I know, but I didn't even know. They just stay over here in like a blue looking band and stuff. But like I said, I've been in her sleep up until. Okay, give me, give me one second. Let me get a look at something. While the police returned to his car to gather more information about the suspect, she took advantage of the situation to flee into her residence. Her sudden action escalated the urgency of the situation even further. <laughs> Please, 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 please. It wasn't you. Why would you run? Because why? I, 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 why would you run? I want you to call us for a second. Can we put it in your car for a second? Yeah. Please, I got a please. stupid fan I had to put it in. We can't see what you're doing. Welcome to you're gonna work yourself up, just have to relax. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Please, sir. Please, just sir. Please, sir. Please, I'm sorry. Take a second, relax. I'm sorry. 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 I
Huh? Yeah, we're good. No, 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 that's the that's honest truth, okay? Okay, sir. I got three kids, right, bro? I have, I have, like, nothing, like, I, 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 I can't, I can't, for, like, listen, I lost everything, you know what I'm saying? So I can make some money, you know what I'm saying? To pay, pay my bills and stuff. My kids, I'm like, I'm, 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 I lost everything, so, like, like, I don't get no kind of trouble. But you got kids, you know how you, you like, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even do this kind of so stuff. What? I'm being real with you, I'll tell you all the truth. Like, when, I went, when I went there, when I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to find a way. Just so I can be, 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 get my kids stuff it was for Christmas and everything. Like, I have nothing. I have freaking I'm a single parent. I'm not trouble maker. I don't get no trouble with nothing. So like, I, 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 I know it's an no excuse. I, 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 I know it's not right. But I, I, I just started at working. All that. I'm just getting my feet. My kids like, my kids like. I don't have my kids with me. Like, they, they stand with other people. So I get them every weekend. Like, you thought, were you gonna resell the wigs? No. no I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. Okay. Real quick. Where are the wigs in the house now? <laughs> okay. But, but I'm, I'm, where are the wigs now? If I, if I, where there, are the wigs now? They're, 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 I'm, I don't know exactly where, where they are. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna close this door. Okay, where I'm, are the wigs now? No, I'm, 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 I'm asking you, sir. I'm asking you. Can, can you please listen to me, please? I, I, I know I, I know it's not real excuse word, but can I, if I can pay for those wigs right now, I can go back in trouble. I, I'm gonna go with my kids. Right? Yeah, I that's, apologize. That's, right? that's about eighteen hundred dollars. I, I don't care. Wigs. I don't care. I'll pay yeah, for it, sir. So. You're out of that, especially after you fought the way you did. So, 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 yeah, so, so I'm trying to. So I'm sorry. So please don't be nasty back, to me right now. Dog, that doesn't make girl. She came out with the dog. Yeah, I was saying my dog. She came out too. I'm telling you, I know. Okay, but what we're doing, sir? We're doing, sir. We're doing. It's not about me, not sure. I'm doing so good, sir. Like, I'm doing everything so right with my kids. Like, I just got back on my feet. So, then why steal it? I was just trying to get some money for my kids at Christmas and stuff like that. And we're back. That's what I'm saying. 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 Yes, sir. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you hit me like? I don't know what you hit me like. Girl, I'm sister, but I don't, I don't get in trouble, sir. Listen, listen. If you came clean and told us, I was, I was, I was, I was just scared. I was made up a story. You lied about somebody else. Okay. Then when we caught you on it and called you on it, okay. I won't fight. I won't fight with you. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I was just, I was just scared. I'm, 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 I'm not in trouble. Yeah, you, you're you right. Did. You're you right. Did. You're right, sir. You're right. You're right. I apologize. You're right. Oh, that's on video. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, I didn't mean it. Or I'm getting in trouble. Yeah. If you knew me as a person, if you knew me. What's his, what's his name? I, that, that, that's her people. I, he was just, just I, 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 they call it Marcus. I know. They call it Mar Marcus. I'm real too. I'm not allowed to. Whose car is it, right? Yes, sir. Hang tight right there, okay? Please, sir. Please, 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 please. Just please. Okay. So we, got, we got four back. Uh huh. Um, it was inside a house, but it was kind of hard to get, but the, at least the. Oh, or uh, those blocks. So the owner was. Oh, the owner of the car was kind of close. Uh -huh. She had taken her hair off and was making it hard to to spot her spot her what gave it away was her uh was the earrings she still had the big hoops on uh-huh and uh, her nails and her nails yeah so okay as soon as i spot her because she kept keeping her hands in her pocket as soon as i saw the nails uh -huh. i tried to grab her she tried to run inside the house yeah following her apprehension the woman faced charges of theft and resisting arrest these charges underscore the seriousness of her actions and the legal consequences she now faces the theft of $2,000 worth of wigs demonstrates a blatant disregard for the law and the rights of others. Additionally, her resistance to arrest further complicates the situation, potentially exacerbating the legal ramifications. As this case unfolds, it will be crucial to examine all available evidence and witness testimonies to ensure a fair and just resolution. The next individual on the list is one of the most wanted criminals. 
On April 26, 2022, officers received a tip about a suspect with a nationwide warrant traveling in a white van. Acting swiftly, they arrived at the specified location and located the vehicle. What followed was a tense and strategic operation to apprehend the suspect, culminating in a high-stakes arrest. Here's how the dramatic encounter unfolded. In the van? In the van? <laughs> Sam Edward Adam Lincoln 1-1. One one. Yep. Let me see your hands! Take your hands out now! Step out of the car! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't move! Don't move! Roll over now! Get on the ground! Give us your hands! Hey! Give me your hands! Walk the street! 36. Send us another crew. We can end a sergeant. Yeah, you shouldn't have ran. I got a warrant. Yeah, I'm kidding. Don't move! They ain't got nothing to do with nothing. They was giving me a ride. She tried to leave me stranded. Thank you. Stand up. Yeah, I got it. Hey. Shut up! Immediately after arresting the man, the police approached the driver of the white truck identified as an Uber driver. They informed him that they would be conducting a search of the back of the truck, as that was where the suspect had been seated earlier. Hey, that was a good I shot. Yeah, I told him. I told him. Don't hang here, though. Okay, Just well, hang out. Yeah, my bad, bad. Uh, you got anything on you? No drugs? Your feet. Hey, if you want to go, I got him. You got anything on you, man? Yeah. What? Yeah. Anything yeah. that's going to yeah. stick, stab, yeah. poke, or hurt me? Any drugs, guns? Yeah, yeah. crack. I mean, crack pipe. You shot me or he did? He did. If I had my gun, you just got tased. We don't even, I don't even know him. Right. And he was about to pick the car up, so I said, I said, hey man, I don't, don't do that, I'll give you a ride. Uh, that's all we, did. we just want to check back here and make, yeah, make he sure he didn't right throw a gun or something. Oh, did he pass one? He got in here. Was he drinking that beer? Uh, that's old. He's gonna pick up one nationwide warrant. As soon as we stopped him, he decided. Yeah. There's yeah. some more bags up there. Alright, as long as you didn't talk now. He, he was gonna beat the car up. Right. I'm military, so I. I'm no, you, you guys are good, man. I ain't mad at you. We're just. <laughs> we're just for to, your I sake. Was, I was trying to prevent it. He was really gonna smash the windows in the car. That's I was right. pumping gas. No, you guys are good. I mean, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm sorry. You're just Uber drivers? Yeah. I am, yeah. Alright. As the police conducted their search of the suspect, they uncovered a stash of narcotics in his possession. This discovery not only confirmed their suspicions, but also added serious drug charges to his list of offenses. You said you're, you got crack and crack pipe on you, and that's over on your left side. Alright, appreciate you being honest with me. And I'm not going to get poked with anything, correct? You're good, man. Nothing against you. I mean, he's got warrants where they're national pickups. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why he ran. Due to the altercation during the arrest, the suspect will first be transported to the hospital for a thorough medical evaluation. This step ensures his health and well-being before he is officially booked into jail. All right, have a seat. You still got the probes in your bag? All right. Are they inside me? Oh, yeah. Thanks. All right, man. I got the hospital. Yeah. Is it having a lot of time on life? Uh, we'll get to that here in a second. Yeah, it's on the other side. But yeah, you gotta go to the hospital, you have to get checked out. We just needed the road to shut down at first, but we're good now there. Huh? Just hang tight, alright man. Sweat. Following the arrest, the police then went to meet the women who had helped them identify the criminal's location. Their collaboration served as a testament to the power of community engagement in aiding law enforcement initiatives. 
Yeah. Who, who tackled him? Y'all bad. He got, he got tased. He was putting uh, his hands on me. He got all the pop all over my car. Well, he, I mean, he's got a bunch of charges now. Yes. Yeah, and he's, like, he's got a warrant. Getting the hell out of me at the store. Right here? Yeah. He tore her car up. Tore, tore like, what, what did he do? Do you have happened? kids together? Nope. 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 He's been kids? stopping her, popping no. up. No. We come back to the house, oh, he's sitting on the couch. With so, he assaulted you today at the Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's got charges. He's obviously got a warrant. Well, I'm saying from us. What charges are you got from y'all? He's... He has a bunch of stuff hey, on him. So you guys were just getting gas at the gas station. Yeah, he yeah. He's a stalker. He, done, he got previously charged with stealing my car. And so he came up to you and grabbed you by he your hair. He grabbed me by my hair. He jumped in the car, grabbed First the keys. He, he jumped in my car. He what grabbed car? my keys. Yeah, she might be. So what all I'm being charged with? Uh, so the assault. What'd you have? Crack on you? Yeah. Yeah. So the possession of that. Well, all. What's the the felony? The crack. Uh, F5. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's even if they if she falls through with charges and all that. I ain't gonna be able to use the phone till I get booked in, huh? Yeah. The individual faced a series of charges, including resisting arrest, obstructing law enforcement, and possession of controlled substances, along with drug paraphernalia. These charges underscored the severity of the situation and the legal consequences awaiting the male. In the next case. The individual will attempt to conceal the truth that he is a wanted criminal. It all starts when the police, who had previously issued an arrest warrant for him, inadvertently recognize him while he's on vacation at Disney World. Officer, he's I don't just going to secure you and that's it. This is not right. Don't resist. Officer, I did nothing okay. wrong. Don't resist. Uh, We're going to let you go. If you are the guy, this right. is not right. Put your hands behind your back. On October 20th, 2022, while vacationing at Disney World's Animal Kingdom in Florida, Usby's agent spotted a fugitive who had eluded capture for almost a year. The fugitive was identified as 31-year-old Quashon Burton. Burton had gained entry to the park using a fake identity. However, he was unaware that he had been discovered, as the agent involved in the case and who had signed his arrest warrant took swift action. The agent alerted Disney World Security, who in turn notified the local Orange County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, give me a second, all right? Does it look like him? Hey, right, brother. Can we talk to you for a second? Me? Yeah. You have your ID with you? My ID? Yeah. What's your first name? We got a, we got a, we got some more that you might be doing something. I might be doing something. Yeah. Just give me a second. Turn it off for me. It's okay. Oh, if you didn't do anything wrong, it's okay. But I don't understand. I, look, no. I literally, I'm with my daughter. It's, it's okay. If you didn't do anything wrong, just, officer, he's I don't just going to secure you and that's it. This is not right. Don't resist. Officer, I did nothing okay. wrong. Don't resist. Listen, okay, don't grab This is you. not right. I did nothing wrong, officer. Put your hands I, behind your back. Can you tell me what's wrong? What's the Once, problem? Because okay, you're detaining me. You're not telling me okay. why. Authorities revealed that Burton had fled New York City in November 2021 after fraudulently obtaining coronavirus relief aid using counterfeit documents. His audacious plan involved the theft of identities from at least four individuals, allowing him to unlawfully obtain nearly $150,000 in government loans earmarked for pandemic relief efforts. Okay, this is not right, officer. You're the suspect. I, I'm, with, You're I'm the, the suspect, suspect in a warrant. Uh, We're going to let you go. If you are the guy, this right. is not right. Put your hands behind your back. I did nothing wrong. Look, my daughter. Are you going to do this? If it isn't him, we're going to let him go. Officer, Turn this around. is not Turn right. Y'all got to do it. But this is not right, officer. Okay. I did. I'm in Disney. Hey. I, 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 I did nothing. Buddy, wrong. hey, look at me. If it's not you, we're gonna let you go. I promise. If what's not me? The subject of a warrant. Yes. What are you talking about, officer? Yo, this is not. Yo, come on. This is wrong. This is wrong. No, you're gonna... I'm telling you, this is wrong. Are you kidding me? Are y'all kidding me? Y'all gonna assault me now? If it's not you, we're gonna let you go. This is, all right. So, so confirm that before you arrest me. I'm not arresting you. I, if this you put your hands behind your back. And stop resisting. Oh, if sir, it's not you, y'all are assaulting me. If it's not you, I'm, we're I'm let talking you go. to y'all calmly. What's your name? Oh my look, God! Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. If it's not you, I told you that from the very beginning. Yes, but I'm you're the subject of a warrant. If it's not you, I'm gonna let you go. 
Officer, I'm coming you 10 for you Officer, on the back. This is, I don't understand. I promise you, it's not you. We're going to let you go. Officer, okay? But the thing is, you're not listening. If we just, I told you from the very beginning, if we secure you and it's not you, we're going to let you go. Do me that favor. All right. Because we have people coming and I don't want to make this any worse, okay? All but right. you're resisting. All Sounds right. good? Lay down for me right here. Appreciate you, brother. Ooh, if it's not you, we're going to let you go, okay? But the thing is, we do have to verify because you we have 100% right now. That's what I tried to explain to you from the very beginning, okay? Don't do anything stupid because we got more people coming, okay? After calming Burton down, the police escorted him into a patrol car. Despite being apprehended, he remained stubbornly uncooperative with the police, steadfastly refusing to provide any information about himself. Do me a favor, okay? You're going to stand to the left, okay? To this side. You're gonna go that way and stand on your butt. Come up. All right, we're gonna take him straight to the car. Right. Hey, we're gonna just talk to you and then that's it, okay? Yeah. Don't try anything dumb, okay? Anything on you not supposed to have, like, to hurt us, man? No. Hey, we're at the bus. We're gonna walk back to the, where we parked the off-duty car. Okay, here we're going. Let's not go through there. The kids are there. Let's search him better though, real quick. Still unclear. Yep, basically, but I, I did confer with him early. They said we can't. We're doing no one traffic. We can go. Okay. Sorted out, okay. Do you have ID on you anywhere, or did you give it to him already? Um, no, I don't have ID. Okay, no? Where's your ID from? With my ID card? Yeah, well, like you're an adult. You have a photo ID issued to you somewhere? Um, yes. What state? South Carolina. South Carolina? All right. What's your name, bro? I mean, you, you, you know that we already know, right? You know what? Provide your actual information to us and speed up this process. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? No, that's what I'm saying. You don't, you, do you have a last name? I have a name, officer. But I All you're going to do is prolong things, but if you don't tell us, so it's not really affecting us. It's really going to be. I'm just trying to understand what's going on. In this situation, the police decided to send a deputy to talk to him, ensuring that the situation was resolved peacefully and effectively. They recognized that escalating the situation could lead to more complex issues and wanted to steer clear of that. This also helped foster a more open communication environment between the police and the suspect, potentially leading to gathering more crucial information to resolve the matter. Is this man willing to cooperate with the police? Let's keep monitoring. Okay, well, I'll let him explain it some more. Bro, listen, I'm gonna be real with you. I have kids myself, okay? I didn't want that to get to that point. And I, and I was talking to you in a nice way, okay? Because this, all this didn't have to happen, okay? And, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. This is not ha did not have to happen. I explained to you, okay? And, and, and again, the longer you prolong this, the longer, because we, we could be here all day. You already know what we gotta know, but you gotta give us the information that we need, okay? We already went, look, all through all this crap. What's your name, man? It seems like this is not feasible with Burton either. He's too stubborn. In such a case, the authorities won't continue waiting for his cooperation. With enough necessary information, they will proceed to take Burton to the detention center to continue the legal process. This is necessary to ensure that justice is served and the offender is held accountable for their actions. Yeah, that's him. I got him ID'd by. I mean, that's him, obviously. Yeah. yeah, if it wasn't him, he would just. But he, he won't give you a name? No. Uh, the Fed verified that's him. I talked to their fraud department. Mm hmm Then, obviously, whatever he booked. No, is he's not, we're not, he's not going okay. Everything yes, bounced. Yeah. So, and it's nothing's in his name. So they want to know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's him. It's, it's him. I got, prior, prior to that, yeah, no, I'm saying we they, have this information, they tattoo know matches. They to open up a fraud case against him. Okay, well. Okay, so. May cause Burton's arrest in Florida for resisting arrest marked the beginning of his legal woes. Subsequently extradited back to New York, he found himself detained without bond, awaiting trial for a series of serious charges. Among them are accusations of orchestrating a scheme to pill for government funds, appropriating public money, property, or records, and committing aggravated identity theft. The potential consequences loom large. If convicted as charged, 
he would get at least two years in prison. Who? How am I yelling at you? You're just speaking to my mother. And your camera's not even on, bro. Stop touching my door. On February 19th, 2023, deputies rushed to Beach Park, Illinois, to apprehend a man with outstanding warrants for violating the terms of his bail from a previous incident. However, upon their arrival, they were met with the suspect's uncooperative demeanor, complicating the arrest process. Sir, how are you? Oh, mom standing outside. No, I haven't. Who just went inside? Get away from me. Get out of my room. Hey, no, dude, get out of my down. room. Sit down. Bro, y'all, I'm not listening to any of you. I already know y'all be f hey, all. I'm not hey, listening to any of that. No, and stop are, pointing. Stop. You're yelling at us. Who? How am I yelling at you? You're just speaking to my mother. Okay. And your camera's not even on, bro. Stop touching my door. Dude, no, because yeah, I didn't yeah, do anything, bro. I didn't do back. anything, bro. I didn't do anything, back, thing, bro. Dude. Get away from me. Ah, I didn't do anything, bro. Oh, I didn't fuck. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Under arrest, bro. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Bro, get the fuck off me. Bro, get away from me, bro. I didn't. The situation quickly escalated when he adamantly refused to comply with commands to place his hands behind his back, heightening tensions between him and the deputies. Todd, you're under arrest. You're off of me. No, put your hands I didn't do back. anything. You're about to get. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Stop. Get off of me. I didn't do anything. Todd, he's lying. Get off of me. Listen to me. Get Give us your me. hands. No. Give us your no. hands. Give us your hands. Give us your hands. No. Drive, your... stun him. No. Drive, stun him. Ah. Drive, stun him. Put your hands behind your back now. I can't. No. I can't! Go it! Todd, I'm about to I tase can't. you if you don't put your hands behind your back! Yeah. Can you hold him real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I was just on stream! This is illegal! Nope. This is illegal! This is illegal! Get away from me! Get the f Stop! Get away from me! Stop! What are you doing to me? I got him. Hold on to the left. Stand up. Stand up. Get away from me, Todd. Get away. Fuck away from me, Todd. Stand up. Stand up, Todd. Stand up and walk. Right now. Get away from me. Walk. Help! Help! Somebody help! They're legally arresting me. Hey, bro, you're making me sick. What? Somebody help! Help! Bro, stop, bro! Keep that unit coming. It's illegal. Y'all didn't answer me nothing, bro. Even as he was being escorted into the patrol car, he continued to scream and shout like a petulant child, seemingly oblivious to the ineffectiveness of his actions in this situation. Perhaps it was the neighbors who were most supportive of his apprehension, given the disruption and disturbance his behavior had caused in the area. He touched me. Right now. Bro, this is illegal. I didn't do anything. Hey, no, you didn't even ask me anything. Okay. Get in. Get over. You don't gotta read me my rights yet, bro. Shut the f weirdo. Help! Hey, neighbor, bro! Hey, bro, they illegally arrested me, bro! Illegally arrested! Illegally arrested! Ain't no drugs in my house! And that's my sister's pot weed! And that's my sister's weirdo! Ain't got a damn thing but a phone and a controller, fucking weirdo! Just remember that we all getting y'all ass beat every day. Finally, he faced multiple charges, including resisting arrest, property damage, disorderly conduct, and violation of his bail bond terms.
These charges compounded the legal trouble he was already in, underscoring the seriousness of his actions and the consequences he would have to face. I didn't fucking fail that test. Tell me how Mary, who was driving erratically, was arrested by the police for DUI right in front of her house. On March 27th, Mary was pulled over by the police for questioning after the driver caused a scene during a drive through at Burger King. So we get out um, until we uh, can kind of get through this. He pulled me over for, I was stopped at the stop sign. I don't know. He was so, coming from the left side. I don't know. He, he is, I, am, I, I was just going to explain. Kyle, he's got to back out. Do you mind just moving my car over so you can get back? This is your car right here. So I right? apologize, sir. Um, so anyway, so we got an erratic driver call. I just came said, from yeah. the nail salon. Okay. I went from Burger King to, from the nail salon to home. Medford Township Police received a call from an erratic driver in the area of the Acme, Absolutely. okay? And whoever called that in, described the vehicle, they matched it with your registration. Okay, that's fine. All right, so describe the vehicle, they matched it with your registration. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's, just, that's all, that's that's all I'm doing is to fine. come out. Okay, where did you get your nails done? Orchard Nails. No, I could pull it up on my GPS. Hold on one second. I don't know exactly because I used to go to Hollywood in uh, Westfield Avenue. Okay. Mary consistently talked over what she wanted to say, then disregarded the words the police officer was attempting to explain. I went for my nails, there's a Burger King right in the spot. I got Burger King for the kids, and I came back because my husband has to go to work. I came from the Burger King, and then I came down like maybe Hartford Road. I usually get my nails done. I used to get my nails on Hollywood Nails on Westville okay. Avenue, and this is like the second or third time I've gone to that. Okay. All right. Yeah. From, so, from your perspective, in your opinion, you didn't operate the vehicle erratically. You did like, like you didn't like swear off the road no, into the no. shoulder onto the grass. No, not like at that. all. Okay. You're good. I, I, I believe it. <laughs> North New Jersey, seventy. Okay. I'll be right back with you. All right. Just, just, just stay in the car for me. All right. She always complies seriously and correctly with police requests. But can everything be resolved so easily? Let's continue watching her reactions during the sobriety test. Yes, sir. Please, thank you. Absolutely. Are, these, are, these are balance. Oh my God, I know all these. So, so Mary, these, these are balance tests. Okay. Like, no, 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 it's fine. So no, I'm just kidding. We'll get your speakers. Ready for the test. Um, can you get my nuggies? They're in the box. Terrible. Up on the top shelf to the left. Like I said, we just want to make you comfortable to go through these tests. No, 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 I'm fine, guys. So, all right. I'm just going to step over here in front of my car, okay? All right, and then you can face me, okay? Face you? You can face me. All right, so we're going to do three tests, okay? I'm going to do the first two tests, okay? Sure. The first test is the walk and turn test, yep. okay? So at first, I'm going to explain the test, then I'm going to demonstrate the test, and then I'm going to ask you to demonstrate yep. the test, okay? Your right foot back, left foot in front, with your heel to toe stop, touch it. Straighten your, straighten your feet out so they're in a straight line, okay? You're crooked. I'm trying to do exactly what you say. Okay. Okay, that, okay, that's fine. Left right? and front. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps forward. You're gonna take nine heel to toe steps forward in a straight line with your hands at your sides, okay? Got you. Nine, nine forward, turn around, nine back. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna demonstrate, okay? Hands at your Got sides. You. One, two, three, eight, nine, right? Heel to toe touching on every step. Turn. Turn Got around. One. Do you have any questions about no. the test? Alright, you can begin the test when you're ready. Two, three. Four, well, five, and <coughs> hold on. Eight, keep going. I can't give you any more instruction. I've been more right. than clear. Four, well, five, six, <coughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now go nine back, right? One, two, three, nine. Keep going. Right, here, we're gonna do the second test, okay? Just come back over here for me. You're gonna choose one leg, whichever one you're more comfortable with, and you're gonna lift it approximately six inches off the ground. You're gonna count out loud, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and you're gonna keep counting until I tell you to stop, okay? okay? I'm gonna choose my right leg. You can choose whichever leg you're more comfortable with, okay? One 1,000, two 1,000, okay. until I tell you to stop, right? If you drop your leg, anything like that? Okay. Do you have any questions about this Absolutely test? Absolutely not. All right, tell All right. me when you're ready. You, you can begin when you're ready. One 1,000, 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 one Try not to move your head, just move your eyes. Okay. You are? 
the arrest, okay. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Based on the received reports and the sobriety test results, Mary was arrested and taken to the detention center. She was charged with DUI and will be bailed for $450. How did I fail this test? <clears throat> that double lock, you see, they don't tighten up anymore on you, okay? Is that good? Yeah. Mary. Yes, sir. So, okay. The question's here. So, as a sergeant, I'm willing to allow him to take custody of the vehicle as long as you're in agreement. Yes. Before you sit down, my sergeant's going to search you, okay? Sure. Just hold on one second. Mm -hmm. I didn't can fail that test. Tell me how many fat okay, motherfuckers y'all do that don't pass this shit. Good, right? I, like I, I want to call my lawyer when I get there. Okay, we can do that. All right. Yep. Anthony Marchetti. All right. Perhaps in the next two to three months, she won't be able to go to the nail salon anymore. And Mary's driving license should be kept by the police for a while. Do you agree? Share your thoughts below the video. The main character in our next case is a woman who used her position of power to intervene in a traffic stop involving her daughter. You are take responsibility. Why do you have to They're all adults. That's my daughter. She's and a these backseat are her passenger. friends. She's a backseat passenger. Why these people are being pulled over. Your daughter over has not been and summoned. She was not the driver. This is not her vehicle. It's not your vehicle. Karen Z. Turner, a Democratic Party lobbyist from Tenafly, who was the former ethics chair of the Bestate Agency. You may take them now. You may not tell me when to take my child and not tell me when I may take my kid. Okay. You may tell me nothing. This woman abused her power to cover up her daughter's wrongdoing, and she paid a heavy price for her statements. Next, let's delve into the origins and developments of the story to understand it better. On March 31st, Traffic police stopped a Toyota Corolla due to tinted front windows and an obscured rear license plate before discovering that the vehicle's registration had expired. An officer approached the vehicle to further investigate the owner's information and asked some required questions. While the driver presented a valid driver's license, they couldn't provide insurance or vehicle registration, leading to the police temporarily impounding the vehicle. Okay, the first one is if you're in New Jersey, the second reason is your license plate bracket, the silver bracket with some writing on it, it's obscuring the whole outside of the plate. I actually, okay, I can just read like the bottom part of it and I can't read the bottom of the, uh, exactly. Yeah. Registered to your boyfriend? No, no, this is my boyfriend. Okay. My father. Registered. registered to your parents. Okay, so you live in Nevada? Yeah, the car is registered to my mom. You live in Tenafly? But you did register it? Yeah, my mom did. It's through my mom. A bit mom. Can you pull it up on your phone? Like just your insurance? I know obviously the registration. My mom, my mom is under all If she wants to transcend it to you. Right. So what is it, like a permit or something? Or you had it registered in Chicago? Right. What is it, like a permit or something, or you had it registered in Chicago? Yeah. I'll be back with you in a second. I'm going to make sure I'm going to run the, the license plate, make sure it is registered since you don't have the documents. After reviewing the vehicle's records, an officer approached to explain the situation to the driver and passengers, stating, this vehicle's registration has expired and it will be impounded. The officers informed them they were free to leave the scene using alternative transportation.
current insurance card and the current registration card for getting it re registered. Like, what does the income cost What does that mean? So, you yeah, write it down. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, no, no. I, I put it on a flatbed. I put it on a police flatbed. Do you have pound feet? Yeah. You're going to have to ask the guy when he comes here. It's somewhere around $100, and then okay. it's about 20 out sooner than later if you can get that done. Yeah. There are, unfortunately, traffic tickets that go along with this. Okay. Um, that's just how it works. No, no, I can't I issue a ticket to somebody that's a passenger, even though it's her bomb's registered vehicle. It. What kind of unclear plate equipment violations, essentially? Very good with the insurance. Okay. Which, what there's, that, there's that, right? None of them have... I can't give you a general area of fines. Okay. They're not, like, ridiculously off the charts. Okay. As far as that one goes. And you've already alerted the income file to come. Yeah, the, well, I'm just kind of giving you a heads up. I want to give you guys a second to kind of figure out what you want to do. There's obviously four yeah. of you in the car. Yeah. So you have a couple options. And if I don't yeah. know if she might have contacts with a car that might be able to just swing up here yeah. in two minutes and pick you guys up. I mean, remote, rural area yeah, here, yeah. giving them an exact address. Yeah, that might be the best one here. You'd want to probably call them. Let's go back to the car in a second. Okay. Um, and make that happen. As a last resort, I apartment, but that doesn't really solve. Okay. I don't think that's... You guys want to do no house calls. What's that? No house calls. No house calls. Okay. I could give you a transport to the okay. Where? Just give me some background. I mean, I was kind of... The, the tension was a little tight in the car, which is kind of why I want to chat with you a little bit out here. I don't I know what if there's, if there's more to the story or not, but... Um, no, okay, so backseat passenger in New York, works for Goldman in London now. Other backseat passenger were college roommates. Right. And so she's here for like three days, and so I came out from Boston. Yeah. So we had to figure out a way to get back to the so she's yeah. just, what does she do exactly? Uh, she's a graduate school, you know. She's driving that often. She doesn't really drive it that That's probably why yeah. this whole thing happened. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing she takes public transportation. Yeah, of course she does. Right. And also, there's got to be some confusion. Like, her reporting to her, like, the car is not supposed to be her car. She doesn't have income. Right. Uh, so I think. So yeah, oh, that's so why I'm letting you like, break the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, yeah, and I, I don't, I don't, you know, you seem like a really nice guy, I don't mean to be doing this to you. Yeah, yeah, you know no, what no. I mean? I genuinely believe you had no idea. Uh, 100%. I was trying to do the is, you know, this is, is. Yeah, unfortunately, once we put stuff through systems, you know, through criminal justice system. Especially two years, you know. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 you know, I, I don't know. Right. So go walk around the lookout. Have you ever yeah, been there before? Or? No, it's a, okay, yeah, it's so nice we're going to do. We're gonna get a workout. We'll borrow a car and go back over there. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is like super nice out. Uh, so we gotta do something else. Try and figure out the situation. Basically, try and figure out the situation okay. with getting a ride. So you're you're right next to Montana Country Club. If that helps out, figure we'll figure something out. They're just gonna be hanging out until. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait. Until it comes. Take care of everything. You know, whenever the person gets to it, taking you guys, so you guys can all get out, unload whatever you start unloading the stuff, and kind of hang out. So, why don't you just get a ride going on the way? And, uh, give me a second. All right. Okay. Uh, real, real quick, just give me a contact number. Uh, in case we have an issue with the car while sitting in. So I'm going to be filling out the sheet here. Yeah. Just hang tight there, kind of start right. thinking about what you want to take out of the car. Turner's daughter called her mother, Karen Z. Turner, to request a ride home from the scene, and when Turner arrived, she immediately asserted her identity. I am a friend of the mayor, then proceeded to interrogate the officers. She appeared agitated when not receiving satisfactory answers from the police. You guys are all set. Tow so truck driver can take it. What do we need? How do we get the car back? How do they know that this is her car? Like, don't you need to give us a receipt or something? Like, how are they going to know that this one? This is a receipt. This is my car. I'm a resident. Here you go. We don't, I, don't, I don't need that. Here is a concerned citizen and friend okay. of the mayor and okay. been in ten apply for I'll, 20 years. I take full responsibility for them. We're not involved here. You're picking them no, up? No, no, no. I'm involved. Trust okay. me. Well, I'm, I'm not going involved. to tell you. He's the driver of the automobile. We, we don't need to see credentials. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. We've been I, you need already. A, you need it. If you can give me a little bit of space here. Right after that, Turner put on her gold commissioner's badge, identifying herself as a Port Authority Commissioner, insisting to be referred to as a commissioner rather than ma'am. She oddly mentioned that the passengers were Ivy League college graduates, threatened to go over the heads of the officers to speak to the police commissioner, berated the officers, and threatened to contact Mayor Peter Rustin. Are you a commissioner? I am one of the commissioners, and I'm heading up. I am the commissioner of the Port Authority, and I'm heading up over 4,000 police officers. There's a problem. An unregistered vehicle. Okay. Let's hear what is. Why were they pulled over? First of all. Yes. yes. All due why respect. were they pulled over? All due respect. No, no, no. I need yes, to know. Yes, The car's getting towed. Why is the car getting pulled? Go ask it, Miss. This does not involve one percent. Yeah, it does. It does. It does because I'm picking them up. That's I fine. think if you can't tell me what is the problem. That's fine. Why is it such a difficult to just say? Why, why, do, you, why do you need to know? Because this is impacting me because I got four people who are coming back graduate school, a PhD student, and I don't know why it's so difficult to say what the problem is. I got to take four people I'll, I'll be honest, back to New I'll Haven. Be Maybe be frank with you? Yeah, I want to know what the problem is. I appreciate your demeanor. I don't You're appreciate being very demanding with me. No, I'm asking you, have, you a question which is not being answered. You'd like you to read my report. Come down to the police department records on Monday and you can get a copy of it. You have no I'm right sorry, to know what's but going this on. Is, no, I do. You are just a concerned Why do you have papers? They're all adults. That's my daughter. She's and a these backseat are her passenger. Friends. She's a backseat passenger. Why these people are being pulled over? Your daughter over has not been summoned. She was not the driver. This is not her vehicle. It's not your vehicle. Why their car is being confiscated, then we have a problem. Why you, trust me, why I will be in with the commissioner. It take, will a be. Back, take a step if back. You for can't me, even please. describe what take, the problem is. Take a step back for me. I can't move back any farther. Take a step what back. The problem is. Because I'm not because of the weird demeanor. I am under very no nicely. legal obligation. To but well. you can do whatever you okay. would like to do. We've been, she's been friend. You. This is a lawful motor vehicle stop. The there driver has be been report. advised of everything that's going on. Okay. I All was the there for your graduation when you guys came in. What, what graduation Thank when I came very to much town? Thank you very much, Zinitsky and Kathy. Thank you for have your nice information. Day. I hope you have a really nice holiday weekend too, because you just ruined it for a lot of people. This is their Passover. You would understand you the job police officers have to do, but there is no explanation. You didn't even no, ask. I'm asking you because you're the one that's making. I don't sure. appreciate the way you approached me, the way you demanded information, the way I'm you're, not demanding. you're I'm stating based you. off of your whatever you. it may be. I mean, you have a business card with credentials. Time. I don't know you. I just met you a minute ago. Aradowski. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I'm just telling you who I am. I've been in the town for 20 That's years, fine. and as a courtesy, for they are being pulled over and their car confiscated. This is a courtesy. Motor My vehicle. daughter is a backseat passenger, as you exactly. said. Exactly. You are making the accusation, the accusation of I don't know what. You have told me. You told me to go Monday and read the report. Okay. When these kids, said to me. I'm not going to ask the driver what you can do because you're the source of the accusation. They are not the source, you are the source. Their side of the story, I, I will. I think but I will thing. do that. I think it's the I best will. thing at this point. You know what? You cannot even tell me a mother living in Penafly for 20 years. I think no. we should conclude so this, piece, this. I will. Just for safety absolutely. reasons, this is a high speed road. I think we should all get off of the road. I don't need it. You can't put a sentence together. Sorry. Okay. A disappointment. Okay. You can't put together a sentence of what the are, are problem is. Are you finished is. now? Are you finished, ma'am? I'm shocked. You may take them now. You may not tell me when to take my child and not tell me when I may take my kids. Okay. You may tell me nothing because you told me nothing. Shame on both of you. We'll be speaking to the mayor. Badge number 540. Sure, there's I know no discrepancy. I, there's no discrepancy. As long as you got all the information right. I got all your information, okay. sweetheart. You can't put a sentence together. That's shameful. You have a wonderful right. weekend. You're going to be very Turner blatantly displayed a confrontational attitude as she left, after leveraging the power of her position to intimidate and verbally abuse the officers. No, there is no not. receipt for They can't even tell you the name for the reason. They can't even tell me the reason why you're being pulled over. Tomorrow? What company are you? Find out the what? The location of the No, it's at the police department. Okay. Shame on you. Shame on you. I have a place to have a nice day. Take care now. I'm asking. No, no. I came to see his address. I came to get his address. You've made five people in my car cry. 
I hope you're happy. You're an ass. Doing my job. And you no. How about I'm not even gonna talk to you. Easter, you're ruining your Passover. You got someone, an investment banker in there from London. You can't even. I hope you're very happy because you seem to have a smug ass look on your face and you seem to be Why? You work with police officers, right? Yeah, I work with 4,000 of them. You don't get to be disappointed in me. You would have more of an inside uh, look at the you job. Uh, caught me by surprise based off your demeanor a little bit. Yeah, okay. Using inappropriate words and yeah. such. Yeah. You're not a nice person. Okay. The problem is. They don't have this, or they do have that. Two sentences. I the asked you. The driver couldn't have been any nicer. I asked you. They're all crying in there. The driver couldn't have been nicer. Because of the way you approach me and your no, demeanor. No, 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 no. Matt, you got a chance to put it together now, but you can't put the sentence together oh, no. now. Other than say you're disappointed. It's fine. We'll go to Russell. And if I go and say, what's the address and what do we have to do, that's inappropriate too. You need to tell me for that too. I want to know where know it's going. Doing. The driver was advised where it's going, as was your I'm daughter. Not. Your daughter was very nice as well. She asked and I told her. You can tell okay. that to everybody. And it's fine. Okay. And I've been, and the police have all been in my home. Very smart. I know. Very smart. Maybe you need a few more tests to go. Appreciate your patience. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it. According to the information, Karen Turner resigned in April after she was found to have engaged in behavior involving wearing a badge and harassing police officers who stopped the car in which her daughter was a passenger. Turner stated in a statement provided by her lawyer, Last month, my daughter and three of her friends were in a car that was pulled over by a Tenafly police officer for non-moving violations, including having tinted windows. The officers subsequently decided to impound the vehicle, leaving the four young adults on the side of a busy highway. Concerned, I hurried to the scene to assist them. As a parent, I was upset and uncomfortable with the unfolding events. I let my emotions get the better of me and regret my tone toward the police officers and use of off-color language. For this, I apologize. However, at no point did I violate the Port Authority's code of ethics or ask for special treatment for anyone involved. Nor did I suggest, in any way, that I would use my position at the Port Authority to affect the outcome of the violations issued to the driver said Turner. My resignation from the Port Authority is a recognition that this unfortunate incident could and should have been avoided. Turner attributed her actions to a momentary lapse of judgment leading to some inappropriate remarks, but she also blamed the police for unprofessional conduct in escalating the situation. And not tell me when I may take my kid. Okay. You may tell me nothing because you told me nothing. Shame on both of you. Her exact words were, as a longtime Tenafly resident, I have always taken an active role in the community, including working with law enforcement officials, and I encourage the Tenafly Police Department to review best practices with respect to tone and de-escalation, so that incidents like this do not recur. Meanwhile, the responding officers, Matthew Savitsky and Tom Casper, were praised for maintaining composure. In contrast to Turner's remarks about the two officers, Police Chief Robert Chamberlain expressed pride in having trained such exemplary officers. He stated that the county is flooded with emails, phone calls, and praises regarding the professionalism of the officers involved in the incident. The interesting thing is I've heard from dozens of people in other states saying they want to use that video as part of their officer training, Chamberlain said. I believe their professionalism represents this entire department. To me, it seems to be the standard in this department, he added. Karen Turner was charged with official misconduct, a second-degree crime with a minimum sentence of five years in prison without parole and a maximum of 10 years. The driver of the vehicle, John Rula, 32 years old, has received three motor vehicle summonses with a court date set for May 2nd at 5 p.m. at the Tenafly Municipal Court. The summonses are for unclear license plates, failure to exhibit a current insurance card, and operating an unregistered motor vehicle. When criminals realize they've been caught, emotions ranging from surprise to despair often surface. Police officers face various challenges and need to demonstrate courage and patience during the pursuit. Through these stories, we witness not only the tension of the chase, but also the complexities of human psychology. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. Have a great day.